It is malay berpuasa Yang Intel ni dia tak bagi hak um, Intel processor hak yang ada K tu Dia bagi uh, Go5 ni processor yang tak ada K Ambo tak dapat overclock lah hmm. Oh eh Hi guys Sorry wrong language Let's switch back to English What I just said It means that Intel did not give me a K variant processor They gave me an Intel Core i5, which is the 8th generation, of course, the i5-8400. Now, that's not a bad thing, isn't it? So, uh, let's have a look at um, this uh, processor's performance right after this. Now, before I begin, just now that weird slang I spoke, it's um, from my hometown, or my home state, I'm from Kelantan. And that's called the Kelantani slang, Logat Kelate. They more pehe kado? Pehe kan? Okay, kalau tak pehe tak pok. Abang Kufas ni akan kecek baso baso Inggris lah. Baso Logat Kelate pun, abang Kufas pun tak tak pernah sangat lah. Okay, alright. Now, I'm using this ASUS board, which is the ROG Strix Z370E Gaming for this Intel Core i5-8400. Now let's have a look at the benchmarks. Now as you can see from the benchmark, the i5-8400 is as good as the 7th generation. 7700k it's amazing so now if you look at it what's the point of buying a an intel core i7 especially the 7700 non-k at least for the 7700k you still can overclock but wait i haven't tested the, this uh, eighth generation 8700k just yet and this is just the 8400 it's a core i5 it has six cores six threads i'm using this cooler from noctua and guess what the the power this um the heat levels recorded not over 70 uh, celsius despite me running this uh, real bench uh, stress test and as for the power draw it hovers around 90 watts on the wall draw so on the actual system it's probably around 80 watts or so well the only thing i don't have right now is the price so this review is short and sweet good stuff from intel and i must highlight that we must thank you we must thank amd yes because of what they have brought to the market now intel step out the game and i must say that they are intel's probably killing off their own seventh generation sixth generation and even the x99 platform to a certain extent you know the x299 platform it still has some advantage but at a certain price point looks like the eighth generation core series is the way to go all right that's it for this video i'll see you in my upcoming videos and thank you for watching do remember to subscribe to this channel if Totomate, hold up a bit. Now, different shirt because I finished the recording last night, but I went out today and I have some information that I managed to gather. Now, um, firstly, the pricing. I still do not have the price yet, but given that this is an 8400 model, I figured it should be hovering around the i5 range, which is like the i5-7400 is around 700 plus, and the higher i5, uh, non-K model, comes to almost 900. So, I believe we can expect it to be around that range. Now that's a beautiful prospect for Intel considering that if you pair it with the, the lower range board like whatever chipset they have, I don't have that in mind. B350 is taken by AMD. So whatever the chipset is, pair with the lower end, uh, lower end board that's, an on, that's non, not supporting the overclocking, it will be of a very great value. After all, if you look at the price of the Ryzen uh, 5, 1500X and 1600X, they are on the higher side and the, the AMD setup requires graphics cards. So you have um, strength for Intel over there. And not only that, the Intel has onboard GPU, which is another strong point. Now, here's the problem. I heard that the K models are not coming in just yet. I heard that they're coming in like Q1 2018 and even um, later part of the day I got news that the K models might be coming in but at a small quantity and what's in the market will be the non-K variants. Now that's strange because 
for the chipsets, Intel has um, Intel's brand partners have launched the Z370 uh, models all over, but we do not have the lower uh, range um, motherboard chipsets of that, those at a lower price. So it doesn't make sense. Now, if you are to buy a non-K model, you have to pair it with a, a Z370 chipset motherboard that costs more. And or the other way around, you have a Z370 chipset motherboard, but you do not have a K variant processor of which it could be used I mean, with the Z370 chipset motherboard to be overclocked. Now, while the situation seems like I would say, while the Coffee Lake processor seems like a Wintel for Intel, it doesn't seem so for the market right now. We, um, distributors, sellers, they are now having a dilemma. How do you push the Z370 board when you do not have a K variant processor? Or the other way around, you have a non-K processor around, how, how are you going to tell people to pair with a Z370 board? Alright, so that's it from me. You heard it from me. This news, I have, I've been um, getting it from various sources, but that's not to say that, that things won't change. Who knows Intel, whoever brand might change their mind and get things uh, moving. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.